What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to GNR. My name is Francisco. I have a quick solution video because I'm a solution minded person. So, one of the biggest drawbacks for uh, PlayStation 5 is that it doesn't have an optical out port, which unfortunately made getting audio to capture devices such as the Elgato capture cards a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. And one of the common questions that I've seen online and a common thing that I've been trying to work through is how to get PS5 audio into the Wavelink software. I figured it out and it's a little bit easier than we probably thought it would have been. And you're gonna, unfortunately, I hate to be that guy. There's a few things you're probably gonna have to buy if you don't already have them lying around. You're gonna need a Y splitter. All right, and what I mean specifically by that is a splitter that will do two audio outs and potentially two aux cords uh, of a length of your choosing. And here's my setup. All right, so in order to get audio to my speakers that you see right there, the Creative Labs Pebble V3 speakers, and to get the PS5 audio into Wavelink, I have to route the audio from the monitor right here in the middle. In order to do that, you use a Y splitter, and you're gonna use two aux cords, and this is what you get right here. You got the splitter right here in the black, and I have my two cords here right here. Um, the right one is the one that goes to the Pebble V3 speakers. The left one is what goes into the back of my PC. You see, depending on the motherboard that you have on your computer, chances are it has an onboard sound card. Most 99% um, of them have that. I don't know if all motherboards have the same number of uh, ports, if you will, for the sound card portion of it all, but mine has quite a few. More often than not, you're gonna see the green and the pink one, which is for, the green is for audio for your headphones. Pink is the microphone for headphones, right? For lack of a better term. If there's a blue one, the blue one is a line in port. So the cable on the left of the Y splitter is going from my monitor into my line in port on my computer's motherboard for the sound card portion of it all. And all you simply do from there Okay, now you've got everything set up. You can turn your PlayStation 5 on, and when you do so, you will be able to see, I got my PS5 up and running, and I'm just gonna move around. And you should see the sound meter right there on the PS5 channel start to go up a bit. You see some action right there. And when you've got your headset plugged into the Wave microphone, you're done. That's it, simple as that. I can't speak to exactly how good the quality of the sound is. I've already played with this quite a bit. It sounds good to me. If you're a competitive gamer, you're playing competitive games like Warzone, Fortnite, what have you, I don't think it's gonna have any sort of negative impact as far as performance is concerned in regards to like sound stages, anything like that. But either way, this is how you can get PS5 audio into the Wavelink software and it works just fine. No delay, nothing at all. Sounds great. Enjoy, take care.